Good afternoon. I'm Dennis Ward with a look at what our APTN national news reporters are working on. After much public outcry, the Northwest Territories government has announced a local state of emergency in Yellowknife. The move comes as a way to bypass city council processes to set up a temporary shelter. For frontline emergency services tackling homelessness, COVID-19 has been an immense challenge. In the capital of Yellowknife, capacity of regular shelters, like the Sobering Centre, have been reduced to comply with public health measures, which left people with no daytime shelter. After much bureaucratic back and forth, a second temporary shelter has opened this week. But with colder temperatures setting in and a rise in demand, there's still more work to be done. That story coming this week on APTN National News. The province of Ontario recently made changes to their Marriage Act, recognizing traditional Indigenous weddings. Here's a peek at a story by Jamie Pashagumscum, who spoke to some newlyweds on their big day. Despite COVID-19, it was everything they planned. An outside venue in a traditional palisade on Anne-Marie's home community of Nia Xingnaming, Cape Croker. The bride says they incorporated as much of the Anishinaabe language as they could, including the word Gazagin for love. English language, we say I love you or I, I love you, but in the Anishinaabe language, it means more than just I love you. Um, it means like um, I share him with the world or I, I'm sharing my love with him with the world. It like means so much more than just I love you. For the full story, tune in tonight for APT National News. Congrats to the bride and groom. Also tonight on Face to Face, we discuss institutional racism and the COVID-19 pandemic with Dr. Barry Lavely. The Métis Soto physician has called for criminal charges to be laid against the health care workers heard on the video Joyce Eshaquan recorded before her death. Lavely wants to assist the family with the case. I will be an expert witness for you. I want that going out there uh, uh, in reviewing her case. Um, yes, uh, Brian Sinclair did die of racism. We have all the evidence that we need. A group of my colleagues and I examined uh, his particular case, and at every turn point, it was racism that led him to, to die alone uh, in the emergency room at the Winnipeg uh, Hospital. And that episode of Face to Face is on right after the APTN National News. For updates anytime, you can download the APTN News app or go to aptnnews.ca. Dennis Ward will see you tonight on APTN National News at 6 Eastern and Mountain Time.